dear students today's unit thermometry topic is fundamental interval what does it mean by fundamental interval i have taken one diagram on the board here this is the diagram of a thermometer yes any thermometer having two fixed point one is lower fixed point another is upper fixed point so this is known as lfp lower fixed point this is known as ufp upper fixed point so any thermometer may have two fixed point one is lower fixed point another is upper fixed point what is fundamental interval fundamental interval is the difference in between upper fixed point and lower fixed point so fundamental interval is equal to upper fixed point minus lower fixed point now question is arising here what is the meaning of lower fixed point what does it mean by upper fixed point yes lower fixed point this one and here is an upper fixed point so question here what is lower fixed point lower fixed point is the temperature at which pure ice melts at atmospheric pressure and upper fixed point is the temperature at which pure water boils at atmospheric pressure so fundamental interval is upper fixed point minus lower fixed point now one another way we can discuss fundamental interval but how it is here see on the board now here this is the diagram of a thermometer yes this is lower fixed point here is upper fixed point now this value is 0 degree celsius this value is 100 degree celsius on centigrade scale now this is 0 this is 100 fundamental interval is 100 here fundamental interval is 100 number of division is also 100 0 1 2 3 4 up to how many division 100 division fundamental interval is also 100 so number of division is 100 fundamental interval is also 100 now another diagram here now this is the another thermometer suppose is a thermometer on Fahrenheit scale 32 degree Fahrenheit it is 212 degree Fahrenheit Lower fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is 32, upper fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is 200, 12 degree Fahrenheit. What is fundamental interval is 180 and number of division is also 180. This is 32, 33, 34, 35 up to 212. So fundamental interval is 180, number of division is also 180. So what I want to say in a class now here, what is fundamental interval is the difference in between upper fixed point and lower fixed point. Not only fundamental interval is that here, this is also the total number of division on the scale. Total number of division on the scale. So number of division is 100, fundamental interval is 100, number of division is 180, number of division is 180 and fundamental interval is 180. Okay, fundamental interval on different temperature scale. These are the scales. Here is lower fixed point, upper fixed point, last is fundamental interval. Scale may be centigrade scale, Fahrenheit scale, Kelvin scale, last may be rumor scale. What is lower fixed point on centigrade scale is 0 degrees Celsius, upper fixed point is 100 degrees Celsius, fundamental interval is 100 degrees Celsius, total number of division on the centigrade scale is also 100. Fahrenheit scale lower fixed point is 32 degree Fahrenheit, upper fixed point is 212 degree Fahrenheit, fundamental interval is 180 degree Fahrenheit and the total number of division on the Fahrenheit scale is also 180. Kelvin scale, lower fixed point is 273 Kelvin, upper fixed point is 373 Kelvin and fundamental interval is 100 Kelvin and the total number of division is also 100. Now one thing should be clear here, the lower fixed point on Kelvin scale we are writing on the board here 273 Kelvin, it is not an exact value, huh? it is an approximate value we are taking on the board here, exact value is 273.15 Kelvin, remember it here. Rumor scale, <clears throat> lower fixed point is 0 degree rumor, R for rumor scale, upper fixed point is 80 degree rumor and fundamental interval is 80 degree rumor and total number of division is also 80. So these are the fundamental interval as well as the total number of division on the different scale. Here 100 division, here 180 division, here 100 division, here it is 80 division on different type of scales. Okay, it should be clear here all thermometers having same length. Either we are purchasing thermometer from Nepal 
or from India or from any other country, whenever it will purchase a thermometer, all thermometers will have same length. So we have taken four thermometers on the board here. Suppose for centigrade, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, Riemann scale. Yes, you know it here, all thermometers having same length. Now, if it is 0 degrees Celsius, here it is 100 degrees Celsius on centigrade scale. Fundamental interval is 100. Total number of division is also 100. Now, Fahrenheit scale, lower fixed point is 32 degree Fahrenheit. Upper fixed point is 212 degree Fahrenheit. Fundamental interval is 180 degree Fahrenheit. Total number of division is also 180. Now, next is... Kelvin scale, lower fixed point is 273 Kelvin, upper fixed point is 373 Kelvin, fundamental interval is 100, total number of division is also 100. Now last one is Riemann scale, lower fixed point is 0 degree Riemann, upper fixed point is 80 degree Riemann, fundamental interval is 80 and total number of division is also 80. So, these are the number of division, number of division on centigrade scale, number of division on Fahrenheit scale, number of division on Kelvin scale and on Riemann scale. All thermometers having same length. Now, one thing should be clear here. Yes, suppose this thermometer having length 5 cm, then it will also be have length 5 cm, will have length 5 cm, will have length 5 cm in the same length, in the same length, in the same length, 100 division will be equal to 180 division, 180 division is equal to 100 division, 100 division is equal to 80 division. So, it must be clear, all thermometers having same length, in the same length, 100 division is equal to 180 division, 180 division is equal to 100 division is equal to 80 division. So all thermometers having same length, so in the same length 100 division, 100 degree Celsius will be equal to 180 degree Fahrenheit, 180 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 100 Kelvin, 100 Kelvin is equal to 80 degree river. So, in the same length, 100 division is equal to 180 division, 180 division is equal to 100 division is equal to 80 division. Now, question is arising here. If we are dividing by 100 here now, suppose we are dividing by 100 this relation, question arises why we are dividing by 100, why we are not dividing by 180 or 80 here. Yes, you can divide either by 80 or by 180, e calculation will not be easier here, it will take time to calculate. So for easier calculation, we are dividing by 100. So 100 degrees Celsius divided by 100 is equal to 180 degree Fahrenheit divided by 100 is equal to 100 Kelvin divided by 100 is equal to 80 degree rumor divided by 100. So dividing by 100 here, you will get here 1 degree Celsius is equal to 1.8 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 1 Kelvin is equal to 0 0.80 degree rumor. Now question is arising, sir here is 100 degree Celsius, here it is 1 degree Celsius, here it is 80 degree rumor, here it is 0 0.80 degree rumor. What is the meaning of this? What is the difference in between these now? Simple, here is a 100 division. Here is one division, is a length of one division, is a length of 1.8 division, is a length of one division, is a length of 0 0.8 division on different type of scales here now. So it should be clear here, here 100 division, here length, length of 1 division, here 80 division, here length of 0 0.80 division. So 1 degree Celsius is equal to 1.8 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 1 Kelvin is equal to 0 0.80 degree Riemann. Now the question is arising here, length of 1 unit will be more, length of 1 unit will be less on which scale? Which two scales will have a same length of 1 unit? Which two scales will have the same length of one unit? Okay, so these are a few questions arising now here. Okay, we will discuss here length of one unit will be more on which scale, length of one unit will be less on which scale. Okay, I will give you one example on the board here now. Suppose these are two scales we are taking on the board here. Yes, suppose this value 0 degree Celsius. Here it is 5 degree Celsius just for understanding in a class here. 0, 5. Fundamental interval 5. Total number of division is also 5. So 5 division means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 5. Total number of division is 5 is a length of 1 unit on first scale. Now suppose this is 0 degree Celsius, here it is 3 degree Celsius. Fundamental interval is 3. Total number of division is also 3. So number of division 3 means 0, it is 1, is 2 and this is 3. 
Now it should be clear here is a length of one unit on first scale. This is the length of one unit on the second scale. Picture is clear now here. Yes, it having more length of one unit. It having less length of one unit. So length of one unit is less. Length of one unit is more. But how to decide it now here? Simple here. Yes, more fundamental interval with respect to this. More fundamental interval, more number of division in the same length. More number of division means length of one unit will be less. Length of one unit will be less. Now here, less fundamental interval with respect to this. Less fundamental interval, less number of division. Less number of division in the same length. Length of one unit will be more. Length of one unit will be more. So here length of one unit is less. Here length of one unit is more. Okay, what I want to say in a class now with the with that with the help of this example here, simple more fundamental interval, more number of division in the same length, length of one unit will be less, less fundamental interval, less number of division, less number of division in the same length means length of one unit will be more. Okay, 80 degree humor is equal to 100 degree Celsius, is equal to 100 Kelvin, is equal to 180 degree Fahrenheit. Now question is arising here, length of one unit will be more on which scale, length of one unit will be less on which scale. Okay, how to decide it now here? Yes, with respect to these two now. Okay, if we are discussing these two scale here, 80 division. Here, 100 division, 80 division in the same length, 100 division in the same length. So this is 80 degree rumor, here it is 100 degree Celsius. So, so comparing both now here, less fundamental interval with respect to this. Less fundamental interval, less number of division in the same length. Less number of division in the same length means length of one unit will be more on Riemer scale. So one degree Riemer is greater than one degree Celsius. Here 100 degree Celsius is equal to 100 Kelvin. So one degree Celsius is also equal to one Kelvin. Now here these two. It is 100 Kelvin. It is 180 degree Fahrenheit. Now with respect to these two now less fundamental interval with respect to this less fundamental interval less number of division in the same length less number of division in the same length means length of one unit will be more than length of one unit on Fahrenheit scale so it is clear now here length of one unit is more on Riemer scale than length of one unit on centigrade scale length of one unit on centigrade scale is equal to length of one unit on Kelvin scale and length of one unit on Kelvin scale is greater than length of one unit on Fahrenheit scale. Which two scales having same length of one unit? Simple, one degree Celsius is equal to one Kelvin. So centigrade scale and Kelvin scale both will have same length of one unit. Same length of one unit.